right, so the 3D Designers Essentials Pack is out now. Like it said, 14 project files, 80 materials, and a little over 50 abstract models that you can play with. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to put them into your scene so you know how to use it if you get the pack. Also, the first 10 people to use this code, you can go and copy it down in the description. The first 10 people to paste that in, you'll be getting that for 25% off. So you can go use that, try to grab that as soon as you can. Just a heads up, everyone on Patreon will be getting this pack for 50% off. If you're not on the Patreon, you can go and join it. There's tons of tutorials, assets, and things like that that I have on the Patreon. I've been running it for almost three months now, so there's quite a bit of content on there. So you can go there, get a lot of cool assets, have some fun, and also get 50% off on this pack. So here we are just in Blender. You'd have shift A and all your other stuff, but we're adding in some stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do append. So the way that works, just file, append, and I'm going to go find the abstract pack, and I'm just going to go ahead and load in a object. So we would click on object, and you got all this stuff. So I'm just going to pick up pads 2, and we're just going to bring this guy right over here. So now we have this. If we hop on over to look dev, there's no materials actually applied to him. So let's go ahead and append a material. So let's go to append. Let's go to the desktop and find the materials. Now you would just click on material and I'm going to go and find scratches. So I'm going to click scratches here. So now that we've pinned it to find it, you go over to the materials tab. This will drop down. Bam. You have scratches. And now we have a cool material with tons of scratches. And then right over here is all your editors. So you can go ahead and bring it down, bring some stuff down if this is too much. So you can just play with the amount of scratches on this thing. And all the materials have their own groups and sets of things. Just to show you, we're going to append another one. Let's pick a ceramic. And we'll apply a ceramic material to this. Now we have this. I'm going to go ahead and turn off bloom real quick. So now we have the ceramic material here, and so we have our things here. We have our scale here on this part of the ceramic. We have our scale on this part to get the bigger or smaller dots, depending on the scale of your object. And of course, before you do anything, if you have an object, you would also want to shift A and apply scale so that you are getting realistic sizing, and then you also have scale on the little guys. So every material has some node groups. If you just like to use the node editor, you can go over to the node editor, click the period key if you can't find it, and there you go, you have the same thing just chilling over here. And you can hit tab and you can go and see all the nodes that I used. So you can go in and use this, use a material pack. All right, for the project files, we'll just click open here and let's go find a project file we can open up. So let's say, let's get, uh, let's get stuck. This is one of my favorites right here. And now you have this. Now, a lot of the project files require HDRIs. Like this one, this is not the only bit of lighting I did. If you look at the actual render, it doesn't look like that. So HDRI. So you would just go over here to the world settings, click this here, and click environment texture. Now let's go ahead and look at some of these models and materials. So, and here they are, all 80 of them in all their glory. So you can just go and check it out. My favorite thing about this, which is provided by String Fairy, are these wood materials. We have the pine, mahogany, cherry wood, redwood. We have tiger wood, which is my favorite, walnut. And we have some really cool stuff. We have tons of tons of abstracts. We got some cool colors going on. It's really cool color schemes. We have this really cool detailed gold. And it's not just a noise texture. It's some other stuff. A lot of things moved around to make it look like flaky gold. We have some scratches. We have some more abstracts. I love patterns, so I did a lot with patterns. So you can go ahead and go get those. We have two different lavas. We have this one right here, we have this one, and we have a lava over there. And so yeah, we have cool patterns right over here. We actually have some leather and some marble right next to it. And you can go look at those project files. And if you want to see all those images you saw in the beginning of the video, you can go ahead to my Instagram and I have posted all of them. They're right here. They say essentials on all of them. And there's like all the wood you can go play with. Here's one of the abstract materials with one of the project files. You can go check that out. So yeah, that's everything there. Now let's go ahead and open up the abstract objects. So just a lot of random, really cool modeling that I had a lot of fun with. We got this one's really cool. We got uh, this one right here. It's a really fun one. Got some globs. We got some fun things right here. So you can go and play with and add to your projects. All of this stuff is royalty free, so you can use it in your commercial work or anything that you're doing. 
We have this really cool one, this super cool one. So yeah, just tons of weird abstract modeling fun that you can play with the materials and add to your designs and things like that. So there you go. That's the pack. I hope you enjoy what you saw. Go check it out and get that. And thanks for watching.